Announcement of the Signs of the End Times Through the Lord Selected Quotes from the Revelation of God to Jacob Lauber, 1800-1864, on the End Times To the enemy from the skies, the general judgment, end and new banishment Heaven Gifts Volume 3 But before I, as the Lord and Creator of all life, can come again, the ground must be finally cleansed of all weeds, and this cleansing is going on right now on all points of the earth. Whoever, then, is knowingly sick in his soul and does not seek that his soul be healed, will not long perish. But the time of purification will last four weeks at the shortest, for there will now be hours in which more will be done will happen than in a century. A longer term is set at four months, for there will now be days, one of which will mean will mean more than in former times a full century. Yet another deadline is set at four quarters, for more will now happen in one week than in the foretime in a fullest century. And still another farthest date is set at four years and still another small thing of the time added, for there will now come moons in which more will happen than in the foretime in seven centuries. The Great Gospel of John, Book 6 Chapter 174 but all this must take place about 700 years before the judgment, so that in the end nobody can say, that he was not warned sufficiently. From now not fully 2000 years will pass, and this will be apparently a youngest but at the same time also last judgment on this earth. Some, five years and five months. The Great Gospel of John Book 5, Chapter 108 200 years before the end announcement of the truth by awakened the enemy from the skies. But in the end there will come a time when the people will achieve a great knowledge and skill in all things and will build all sorts of machines which will perform all human tasks just like living thinking people and animals. But through this many people will become unemployed, and the stomachs of the poor, jobless people will go hungry. Then the misery of man will increase to an unbelievably high level. Immediately then people will be awakened by me once again, and they will announce the truth of my name for more than 200 years. Things will be well for those who then turn towards it although their number will be only a small one. However, once the number of the pure and good will have dwindled as in the time of Noah, the earth will again be visited with a universal judgment in which neither people nor animals or plants will be spared. No longer will their lethal, the fire-spitting weapons be of any use to the proud people, nor their fortifications and metal roads on which they will move along with the speed of an arrow for there will come an enemy from the air and destroy all those who have always done evil. This will truly be a time of shopkeepers and money changers. What I did only recently in the temple at Jerusalem to the money changers and pigeon sellers, I shall do on a large scale all over the earth and destroy all the selling and money changing stalls through the enemy whom I shall send to the earth from the vast expanses of the air like a flash of lightning and with a great thunderous noise. Truly, against that one all the armies of the earth will fight in vain. However, the great, Invincible enemy will not harm my few friends but will spare them for a new plant nursery which will produce new and better people. Do understand this well, but do by no means think that I want it thus and that therefore all this is predestined. Nothing could be further from me and from you, yet it will be as it was before the time of Noah. 
the people will keep putting their worldly knowledge and acquired skills to increasingly evil use and, of their own free will, bring upon themselves and, finally, upon the whole earth, all kinds of judgment out of the depths of my creation. But then I will say along with you, my noble Romans, Volenti non fit in area, the willing is not wrong. Yes, the people shall indeed have everything in meets and bounds, build their earthly lives in comfort and shall spare their hands from hard work, in order to gain all the more time for the development and ennoblement of their hearts and souls, and shall all immediately be full of joy in my name throughout all their lives. But among them there shall be no suffering or grieving people, except a willful sinner against every well-established order in my name. But if along with the naturally increasing skill of the people their selfishness, greed and power grab also increase and thus the darkening of the human minds, then naturally bad consequences can also not be avoided. For if you quickly put one foot after the other again and again, the result of this fast procedure cannot be avoided. But whoever hesitates with his foot cannot complain if even a snail overtakes him. Falling from a great height obviously brings death to the body, but if someone knows this from experience and jumps nonetheless from a great height into the depths what is that called? Behold, that is blind wantonness, and the terrible consequence of this is not my will but instead the unchanging law of my eternal order, which cannot be lifted either in a particular place or even less in general. Or do you think that I should therefore take the destructive heat from the fire so that an idiot who throws himself into the fire should suffer no harm? Or should I take away from the water what makes it water and that a person can drown in it either through lack of care or by being pushed by someone or by own intent? The Great Gospel of John, Book 6, Chapter 150 From now on for nearly two thousand years countless many seers and prophets will be awakened while at the same time even a bigger number of false prophets and even highly haughty power hungry and all love bear false crests will rise. But also the judgments will continue and there will seldom be a ruler who because of his darkness will not together with his people, have to endure a severe judgment. Towards the end of the indicated period, I will awaken even bigger prophets and with them also the judgments will increase and become more widespread there will occur great earthquakes and very destructible storms of elements, large price increases, wars, famine, pestilence and many other disasters, and as I have already remarked earlier, faith will, except for a very few, not be among the people, and will be frozen in the ice of the people's haughtiness, and one nation will attack the other. The people will be worn through seers and special signs in the sky of which only a few of mine will take note of, while the world people will only regard this as effects of nature and spit on those who still believe in me. Thereupon the greatest revelation through my repeated return to this earth will take place, but this revelation will already be preempted by the greatest and sharpest judgment and be followed by a general thinning of the world people through fire and its projectiles so that I myself can establish a completely different plant school for true people on this earth, which then will last until the end of times of this earth. I now say this to you in advance, that you certainly should not be of the opinion, that after me it will be perfect like in my heavens. Yes, very few will be equal to my angels but many even a lot worse than other people during these our times.